And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at Sugar Blast. Candy Crush is one of the more popular uh, iOS apps that's out there. People have been playing it on their phones, Android and iOS, for a long time. And I know this because not only was that game immensely popular, but there are so many games out there, all the way back from Bejeweled, where you're just switching things and forming rows. So. You know, no surprise here that we have a game that's going to follow this. Sugar Blast is very much Candy Crush, the board game. In fact, the box itself here, this is from Come On Games, and they make big gamer games like Blood Rage and Zombie Side and things like that. This is nothing like that. And when I look at this, four-way tilting board, swap candies and great blasts, and they tell all this stuff, and it, it, I was like, wow, this looks like it's supposed to be on the shelves here at Walmart. And I really think that that's kind of the audience that they're going for with this. So let's keep that in mind as we take a look at the game. You're going to fill the board here with candies that are randomly drawn from a bag. Each player is going to be given a card. This is going to describe your victory condition. So this says I need one candy of each type. This one says I need nine total. Two of one type, two of another type, three of another type, three and three, four and two, 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 and two. So you're going to have one of these combinations that you have to get. I might point out that two, 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 and two might seem harder than getting five ones, but hey, let me show you how it works and you might change your mind. So on your turn, you're going to take two candies and switch them so that you can make three in a row. So for example, I could take this yellow and switch it with the green one. To put it there, I now have three yellows in a row. So when that happens, I'm going to take all three of those off the board. One of those is now mine. I'll take the other two in front of me. You then tilt the board towards you. In this case, it goes that way, but if I had been sitting this way, I would tilt it like this and add in three more random candies. So one, two, three. I then look and see, did I get any more three in a row? And lo and behold, I did. So I get one of those candies and remove these two, tilting the board towards me again, and adding three more random candies. One, two, three. At that point, it looks like I'm completely done, and play goes to the next person. So on their turn, they might look here and go, ooh, four. Now, four is better than three. If you get four, you're going to remove everything in that whole column. So I remove the whole column. I get one of the purples. And I also get one of the other candies. So maybe I'll take the red and then the brown is discarded. And then we drop them in like that. And again, refill in all the open spaces one at a time. If you get five or six in a row, you get to keep two candies of that type. There's also something called a box blast. If you make a TL or a plus sign, so let's say, for example, that's here, and I hit this and make that, that's an L, then the whole blast is gone, and I'll get one of the candies and then one other candy. That's it. You're just going to take turns going back and forth till one person meets their goal. At that point, that person is the winner. The whole game is really about how nice the components are. That's it. These have these little circles in the bottom and they put on these trays. When they come off the board, everything slides really nicely. They have cute artwork here. You know, it looks very Candy Crush without being called Candy Crush. They all feel the same when you pull them from the bag. The cards are okay quality and the rules are very well written. So there's no complaints here about the box. So good components. Folks, I gotta say I was expecting this to be a fairly light game. I was not disappointed in that regard. It has a fun mechanical device as you tilt the board towards you. I mean, I guess it's nothing new here. I've seen boards that tilt towards you, you know, games that came out in the 50s and 60s. But as you watch the stuff slide and make matches, and that's all fine. I can't even fault the mechanisms of the game. You know, you just, you make a match in the three, four, five, six. 
Here's where I do have a problem with this game, though. So I, I played these Candy Crush games and Bejeweled things, and, you know, when I play these games, I'm not tremendously good at them. I'm scanning the board as fast as I can for three in a row, swap two, make the match, stuff falls down. But if you've played these games, and many of my audience has, you make the match and then they fall down, and boom, makes another match, and boom, makes another match, and you're like, woo, I didn't plan that. Maybe you're smart enough to plan that, but very rarely do I plan that. It just happens. You're like, yeah, I got a, a combo. Woohoo. Well, that's kind of fun in a solo game. Ah, not quite so much in a multiplayer game. And that's one of the biggest problems with this game is Sugar Blast is a pretty quick game. You'll notice that, for example, one of the winning conditions was having five different colors. That's minimum, probably, f or maximum, five turns. Because, yes, w it might be set up so you can't get a specific color in your turn, but not too hard. And it's really easy to make a match of three or four, have them drop down, and, oh, look, I made another match of three. And, oh, look, I made another match of three. I just got three candies of the five I needed. So there's a huge first turn advantage in this game, and it's just really lucky. And... Okay, fine. It's a light game that you're going to buy at the mass market store. I, I get that. I just feel like it could have been a little bit more interesting. This doesn't feel like you make any tough decisions at all. You say, well, Tom, maybe it's meant for kids. Okay, good news. I tested it with kids, and they also felt the same thing. In fact, some of the kids were visibly and audibly disappointed because they said, I didn't do anything, and this person got super lucky. Like, they, they found a four drop, and it filled out the whole row. It dropped down. It made two more drops, and then they got two more. And when those dropped down, another one dropped down, and they got a fourth, and they got four candies on one turn, and then the next turn they got two or three more, and they won the game. Okay, it just, is that the game? I mean, and, and yes, there's, a, there's actually some solo rules in here, but I have to tell you, folks, if, if you're playing um, Sugar Blast solo, let me tell you about this cool thing that you can do here. You can just download a game and play it, you know. I don't know why you would buy this for solo. It's too short and too lucky, even for kids. And to that end, I can't really recommend it. Uh, I like how it looks, and it's a fun game to slide this stuff around, but eh, not one I'm interested in right now. Sugar Blast, I'm Tom Vassell, and you've been watching the Dice Tower. Dice Tower Judgment. In Sugar Blast, the game plays you.